if a 14 year old school child can be abducted from Banbury Road in Summertown in broad daylight and taken off and raped by two men, we can't, I can't leave it as it is. Why after 32 years have you decided to waive your anonymity and reach out to this girl? I, I just can't leave it as it is. She's a school kid, she was in uniform. She needs to know if, she, if she's gonna get through this in any shape at all, she needs to know that people are absolutely going the extra mile. In so many ways, what happened to her was actually far worse than what happened to me. He held me aloft by a scarf and I really, I had, as far as I was concerned, breathed my last, there was no more air and my lungs were beginning to uh, heave. And I thought, this is it. He finally saw through my refusal, my absolute refusal to give him anything that looked like sex. And he came to his senses and burst into tears and in fact behaved with enormous remorse and I really, really, really believe that. If the perpetrators are watching this, what's your message to them? You may be feeling very frightened. You are almost certainly going to get caught anyway. So why don't you, as they say, man up, take responsibility, and if you need support in getting yourselves to the police, I will give you that support because that's what this young woman needs. I, I may never know your name, but I'm going to call you Sarah because I want you to know that for me, you are not another faceless victim. You are a precious, precious young woman to whom these acts of wickedness should never have happened. I want you to know that I am holding you in my thoughts. I hate that so little has been learned since my life-threatening assault in 1984. You are on my mind and in my heart. I honour you for what has happened. And I honour you for the suffering you are now undergoing.